Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today it is the third episode in the series of reviewing the new DLC continuum maps. Let's review for a second. The first one, the gameplay was okay and the map, I really didn't like it that much, but it was okay. Not, not the best for short range, but more better towards the long range side. Very good for like snipers and stuff. The second map, Charista, I love the design. I love the waterfalls. Let's see. I love the look. I love the way it plays. I just love everything about Charista. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for everything. And now we're going on Excess. Now, Excess is the remake of Rust, if you guys did not know. And I really started on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but really I didn't know what I was doing. And then I went to BO2. And again, I really didn't know what I was doing. And then Infinite Warfare is really the first Call of Duty that I ever played. But in reality, this is going to be the first time I have ever played Rust or a remake of Rust. And like I've said in the past videos, I have no idea, no idea what the original Rust was like. I have no idea what these new DLC, DLC maps are like. And I just have a feeling that I'm going to get wrecked because of these people. Literally, I have seen three people so far not been able to land a single shot. There was one shot. It's kind of crazy, this map. I can already see Rust. The original Rust was really close, but you didn't have flying. Now you have flying. They made the map a little bit bigger, but I still think it's a little bit too small. I mean, it's pretty big. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty big, but it's pretty small for Infinite Warfare. Compared to all the other maps, especially, the size is nothing. Now, I kind of do not like this map so far. People are getting some cheeky kills on me right now, and uh, I have no idea where they're coming from, because I have no idea where I'm going from, going to, go, uh, coming from, or where they are. It's kind of chaotic, actually. I'm just seeing a guy and shooting and hope, hoping that nobody else saw me first and nobody else is killing me first. I just got the Camel Mars, but that's not even that good, so we're going to ignore that fact. Now, where is this dude? Let me, let me just watch it. What? So, I also think that's kind of overpowered. How you can just sit all the way at the top. Now, I don't know exactly where he was, but I do know he was up there. Um, I probably want to use a different weapon. Let's see if I can. I've never used my Mauler Mammoth. Uh, really, maybe once, but not 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 for even a full game. Just the recoil, dude. The recoil is just too much on the Mauler Mammoth. I really don't know what gun to play, cause honestly, VPR Yokai is too short range for me, in my opinion, on this map. Grizzly or Mauler Mammoth, too much recoil. And. Not that good with a sniper, bro. I'm dead. Gosh dang it. So for me, this map is just not looking too good. I just feel like it's slightly just too chaotic for me. Enemy 4 seems like a pretty good gun that you would want to use. Mid range weapon, which is what you want on this map. A gun that can go both long and pretty far, but isn't limited. It's just a lot of chaos for me. It just doesn't seem like a well-balanced map. Just a lot going on at once. Just over and over this and over and over. Production. Like, look, I just got a triple kill because they were all lined up. And, like, in reality, I shouldn't even have gone that far. I don't even know what I'm doing. So far, this map, you definitely want to use a mid-range weapon, like an NV4 or K-Bar. I mean, I guess you can use a VPR like this dude is. Really annoying, by the way. But I would not recommend, unless you're playing only the outskirts, and you're a pro at this map, which you pro you, you guys probably are, to be honest. I'm, I'm probably the only noob on Rust. Man, Call of Duty is really stretching the idea of the water, man. 14 and 16 guys I don't know I kind of like it better than the moon map to be honest I just, I actually didn't really like the moon map at all but I do think it is very chaotic so 
if I were to give this a rating, I mean, technically we're not even done, but may as well be if we're losing this bad. Huh. If you can't beat them, then give up. No, I'm not going to chance that, bro. I don't even know if you could do that, but I'm like 99% sure you can't, so I just wouldn't. I feel like I'm just gonna get shot. Oh, how did I know? <laughs> Look at that. Look at those spawns. Pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. Okay. Like, I mean, I guess it's cool that a noob like me could get kills on a map. I don't know. But like, at the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But like, at the same time, it's very, very chaotic. And a noob like me, or even a veteran, could just get killed. Right when they spawn, like we've seen a few times as well. Dang it. This dude just keeps peeking outside the corner with the VPR, and it's pretty annoying. But I mean, what are you going to do about it? Ah, uh, man. There we go. I just saved that dude's life. Oh, man, dude. We, we could have gotten that quasi food. All right. So luckily we've gotten, oh my gosh, I thought he died. Luckily we've gotten four games in a row of the maps that I have not played yet. Let's see if I can get on the art gallery one. That's the last one I haven't played. I'm about to give you guys my final verdict. Here we go, I went 21-22, almost positive. So guys, by the way, and I'm doing all these series in a row and my first map on the moon one I also was not warmed up and I should have switched from the VPR to something like the MV4 that would have been smarter This dude went 31 and 4 guys look at him prestige 2 31 and 4 17 and 9 16 and 8 when we don't even have a positive guy in our team except for 4 and 4 So basically guys my view on this map very very chaotic a lot can happen, you can get a really good KD as you saw, you can also get a very bad KD like you also saw, but I would suggest using a mid-range weapon, and you could snipe from the top, the top is a place that's hard to reach as well, but all in all, I would probably rate it like a 7 out of 10, the first map, probably a 4 out of 10, I really don't like it, but I also was not warmed up, so maybe that, I, that affected it as well. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Go ahead and let me know your opinions on the video in the comment section below. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys later.